Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the cleaning of the effects. So how we can clean the effects thing. So I want to explain you about this one. So let's try to open this one very big. Yeah, so hopefully you'll be able to see. So let's try to see. So cleaning up the effect, cleaning up the functions. So what, normally what is the effects in uh, angular signals? So you people may be having a idea. Fine. So let's try to see what are effects in angular signal. If I try to show you what are effects in angular signal. In angular signals, effects allow you to respond to changes in signals without returning any values. That is performing the side effects like logging, fetching the area or interacting with the DOM. Sometimes these effects need to be cleaned up when a signal changes or when the effect is destroyed. I will try to show you this one. So sometimes what we need to do when you write an effect for any signal value, sometimes we need to have a situation in such a way that we need to clean up the effect thing. So how we can clean up this one? So clean up function in effects. So let's try to see. Clean up function in the effects. So when you define an effect, you can optionally pass an on cleanup function. So you can optionally pass an on cleanup function. This function allows you to register a cleanup logic to be executed before the effect runs again or when the effect is destroyed. Example, navigating away from the component that uses the effect. So I will try to explain you some simple scenario regarding this one so that you people have a, may have a clear understanding about this one. So let's open this code and also let's open here. And here when you try to see, so we have a computed signal, right? We have a computer signal that component is fair. So I will try to remove this entire code. Okay. And here what I would try to tell you is, let's say that I am having a uh, count signal. Okay. Signal of zero. So this is the common thing which you people know about this one. So let's say that I am in the constructor. So we know that the effect if you want to inject it. So you need to write it in a constructor or otherwise you can mention it in the class property also. So here this is the thing. And here let's say that I am having a set interval. Okay. So set interval and this interval runs for every second. Okay. For every second I want to run it. And here I will try to do the console.log interval effect execute. And here I will try to, okay. So here fine, right? Interval effect executes. And if you want, you can write the this dot count value also you can use it so that this effect is dependent on the count value. And here in the ng on in it, what I will try to do here, I will do this dot count dot set of one immediately. I will try to update it and after some set time out. Okay. So after some set time out, I will try to execute it. Okay or otherwise don't we don't we don't want to have a set timeout also for example let's say that so when you try to first time effect will be executed so here if you try to see the effect got executed so fine so when i remove this component what will happen will this interval runs again or when this component is destroyed will this interval runs again or what will happen let's try to see it so here we are defining this component in the app component.html right so let's try to have a button toggle I will try to use toggle component. Okay. And here I can use something like click on toggle component. Okay. So let's try to have one method and in the app.component.ts file, I will try to show you in the app.component.ts file. So here, this is the app component. file. Yeah. Here I can have a component toggle is equal to signal of false. So at the time, first time it will be false. Okay. And I need to have on toggle component. So whenever you are trying to do it, this dot component toggle dot update of value is equal to not of value. That's it. Finish. So toggle component is also completed. So now at the first starting phase, it is false. So we need to add a condition for this one. So if you want, you can add something like at the rate if component toggle is there, then I need to use this one. Let's see. So now if I try to show first time the component, the computer signal component is not there. So that's why it is not showing any errors. And if I click on this one, the set interval started. So that why? Because the effect 
started executing for this one this this interval got started executing so now when i click on this toggle component again let's try to see here still the interval is getting updated so that means whatever the interval we are having it inside this one so it is still getting executed so here the effect creation the effect function is created with a callback and here what i can do here for opening this one so i can use an on clean up so this is the function and here i can add a something like on clean up so this takes a callback function and here in this one so you can have a constant timer is equal to i can have it like this and in this one i can clear interval of timer i can use it like this so that's it so now when you try to use it for the first time so when you click here the toggling is there so the toggling is happening so 2 3 4 5 6 like this it is coming and when i click on this one again so what it is happening the timer has been stopped so that means the set interval got destroyed when i click on this one again it starts again from first onwards see here it is starting again so this is how actually the thing works so effect creation the effect function is created with a callback that takes on cleanup as an optional first parameter this is useful when you want to clean up the resources like timers event listeners or subscriptions so whenever the effect runs again or it's destroyed so inside the effect we have mentioned something like an uh, insert interval and all those things and on cleanup so whenever we are trying to use the on cleanup so we are using clear timer so the cleanup function ensures that if the effect runs again before the one second timeout is completed the timer will be cancelled so this prevents multiple timers from overlapping or causing potential issues with side effects so that is one thing so like this you can use in any in any ways something like a window listener so for example let's say that if you are having a window means then you can use this window also for example let's say that so let's try to observe this example so let's say that we are having an effect of on clean up okay so what is the problem for this one on clean up okay i need to use another one okay so now here we are having an uh, handle resize so here how this one the fx add an event listener for the resize event of the window so whenever i am trying to window resize so this event listener will be executed so if i try to resize oh sorry if i am trying to refresh this page so toggle it so whenever i try to resize see here you will be able to see resize is there so when i try to remove this toggle thing so then that resize will be removed so here the effect is destroyed or reruns or reruns the cleanup function will remove the event listener ensuring that it doesn't remain attached unnecessarily so what is the summary of this one is so let's try to explain you one by one so here so now you understood about the cleanup thing so when we use the cleanup so when you define uh, sorry the effects in angular signals allows you to perform side effects that depend on the signal changes cleanup functions are registered using the on cleanup to prevent stale operations from continuing example active timeouts intervals or event listeners when the effect reruns are dis destroyed the cleanup ensures that long running operations like polling or timers or something are cancelled before a new run preventing memory leaks or unexpected behavior so this is the use of the on cleanup in the fx thing hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you